This is an instructional video for the uh, Geospatial Information System DEER module. Sometimes I just call it the uh, DEER Population module or the uh, DEER Harvest module. The numbers as from the directions are from the 2012 hunting season. This module is prepared in 2014. And when you see the uh, module information, you'll see there's a PDF when you click on that. I'm not going to click on it, but if you were to click on that, you would see the PDF open up in another window. And that's what is being shown here. I'm going to slide this slider back up to the beginning. And you can read through the directions on this. There's some videos that you may watch and they'll give you a little bit more background on GIS and how it works. And you will click on this link that takes you to an online software site that you don't have to pay any extra to access. And there's a map and map software that you'll follow. When you click on this site, it will take you to this uh, map right here of Illinois, as well as some surrounding states. And uh, you'll click on contents. And you'll see that there's a base map, the topographic base map, and two layers on or over that topographic map. The first layer is the bioclass layer the Illinois counties, and then the deer killed by counties is the top layer. If you've ever worked with Adobe Photoshop or similar software, you understand that you have layers and the top most layer is the last one usually that is added and uh, the bottom was the first. You're going to be working with these following the directions in this PDF file and uh, looking at the information that's given to you and uh, also opening tables and, and looking at that information. I'm going to go through a little bit of this with you so you get an idea of what you're supposed to do. Here you can see the three layers that are showing and uh, you can click on the various features and the icons that it tells you to click on. There have been some modifications to the software since it, this module was produced and so there is a page, at least a page here, that shows you what those modifications are. So you'll access the information a little bit different. The information is still there. It's just accessed a little bit differently than what you've seen in the past. So um, here they've got this pull down menu. In your actual map, they've got these three dots where you can pull down more options also. And then there are some underneath. But you'll want to read through those so you understand. The icons that are underneath the title of the layer. There's a, a legend view, there's an attribute table, there's a change style, and an open filter dialog box, and then the more options. And you'll be working with the tables and the, the change style and the filter more so as you follow through with these directions. There are questions to answer. There are 20 questions, one through 20, and you'll be submitting the questions and the answers to me. So be sure and include both. That's part of your work. That's uh, what you get credit for uh, doing both of those, not just the answers and of course not just the questions, but I need both of those. Sometimes students will uh, leave out a question and it throws all the other questions off because they're off by one. If you sh share the questions and the answers, at least I can give you partial credit um, and maybe only miss one if you've deleted it or omitted it. Uh, you'll read through here, take a look at the information, and keep in mind these layers can be turned off and turned on. Notice when I click on this, it turns off the topmost layer and it goes from the purple to the green. The colors that you see may be different. Uh, sometimes that changes based on each time a person uh, logs in, accesses the map. And then of course I can turn off the bio class layer just Illinois counties and you just have the topographic map which is the, the base map and the state of Illinois looks similar to the other states as far as the roads and the rivers and the features that are uh, shown. So I'll turn on the 
counties, Illinois counties, green. Notice that there are at least two counties, and there may be a couple up here, and one down here, Jefferson County. It may be uh, there's information omitted, and I don't know why that was. I was thinking that's not been a problem in the past, but uh, it is now. I don't have that information, so just ignore those counties where there's no information for. If you go into the attribute table, you would notice that there's no information for Jefferson County. Jefferson should be right here because these are by uh, alphabetical order and it's not there. So disregard that one. If I turn on the deer kills by county, that covers all the other counties. Looks like they're one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe in here, that um, uh, don't have the information for, and that's why they are green. Jefferson doesn't have the information by county or by deer kill, so we won't be able to answer that one, but uh, some of the, the counties that are more significant in answering the questions, you'll be able to answer those questions, and uh, you'll, have, you'll find the information. Here's the attribute table. Again, if I was to scroll down, you would not find Jefferson County in there. It's missing. And it should be right in here after Jasper County. Okay, I'll close that table. These are some of the things you're going to be doing working with that table. You'll uh, go down through, uh, follow the directions in the uh, module, and it helps if you have two screens. Uh, if you don't, then you're going to have to be clicking back and forth, going from the directions to the map, directions to the map. It, it is very helpful if you can read the directions on one screen and then work on the map on another one. You may not have that option. But it asks you to answer some questions, and some of these questions have to do with just understanding mapping and how the information is mapped, and then some of the questions are more specific as to what numbers you are seeing or what uh, numbers are represented on the map. And you may have to go into the table and look in the table to determine that. And uh, there, it should state somewhere in the directions what those abbreviations mean for some of the different layers. Uh, somebody asked me that when I was talking to them about it. Um, but keep in mind, you should see that someplace with uh, abbreviations. Here they are. AST, all season total. So that'd be all the deer kills that were recorded during the different hunting seasons. And the different hunting seasons include the youth, the muzzleloader, the late winter season, mostly in the northern counties for the late winter season, but some southern counties, firearm, archery, and then you have all seasons total together, all seasons male, all seasons female, and then all together. And uh, when, when you take a look at the map and you start working with it, you'll be able to tell which counties have the highest deer kill uh, recorded and those that have the lowest. And a wildlife biologist would ask why. Even a, a person that's not a wildlife biologist, you'll be wanting to try to answer that question for yourself. Why do some counties have higher numbers of kills and some have very low? And uh, some of the questions might even give you a hint as to why that is. And of course, and uh, going through this module, uh, you want to be thinking, what's the importance of this data? Who would care about it? Who would be interested? And how could it help? And who would it help? And I think that, that question is one that uh, is alluded to in 17 through 20, where you might need to do a little bit of research or ask around as to why that is the case. But you go through and uh, change the settings as directed, and you'll see the information, how it shows up. And um, scrolling down, scrolling down. And uh, again, so this may show up a little bit different for you than how it does uh, in past times, but the information is there. Just follow the directions in the module. 
and I'm looking, there's number 12, and there's 13, 15, scroll down a little bit more, we come to the end, and there's 17 through 20, and uh, look up that information, and that's, that's uh, the end of it. The career extension, that's optional. I, I don't require that. If you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that, but that's not required. I hope you do well on this. I hope you enjoy it. If you especially enjoy the GIS work, let me know. There are opportunities, some very good lucrative opportunities in GIS. If you enjoy cartography, if you enjoy mapping information, there are opportunities available for people who do this. And not too many people go into this, uh, especially here in the Midwest. It's something that's better known and more studied on the East Coast and West Coast. Not so much here in the Midwest, but there are opportunities. And so uh, check back with me if, if you're interested, and I can tell you a little bit more about those. I hope you do well. Let me know if you have questions.